Hey, what's up everybody? James Strickland here. Wanted to make a quick product review on a new product that I received from my gracious sponsor, uh, Anderson Powerlifting, SBD USA. Um, I have gotten to try out the Magnum Ram. I got it this morning, took it to workout, and uh, actually did not have a heavy day planned today. So I was trying to be real careful around my schedule but definitely wanted to try it out. And this is one of the products that uh, is gonna be launching at the Arnold this year, uh, March 2nd through 5th. And uh, they wanted their athletes, uh, SBD and um, Anderson wanted their athletes to try this out. And uh, I definitely wanted to uh, oblige. All right, so a little bit about the product. This is a Titan uh, Magnum Ram. It is the newest uh, line of the uh, Titan uh, support systems. Um, basically an overload system. It is used for uh, primarily uh, overloading in the bench press. Uh, when you're uh, at the end of your set and you wanna get a couple extra reps in or go a little bit heavier, uh, spot or no spot, it's definitely safe enough uh, to, to handle uh, some extra weight. Uh, material wise, very, very durable. Uh, the predecessor was definitely very well made. This one is uh, quite thick. Um, it's probably about a, an eighth of an inch of heavy rubber. I've been told, you know, spandex sleeve, uh, very, very comfortable actually. Um, not that the old one was uncomfortable, but it definitely squeezed your chest a lot more while you were using it. This one, not so much. Um, I actually wear an XL. Uh, I've got, um, about a 20, 20 inch, uh, bicep, uh, you know, 19 or so inch forearm and the XL fits me, uh, quite, quite well. Uh, it's a little loose, uh, but I, like I said, I, I like it that way. Um, it gives me plenty of comfort and, and plenty of, uh, of pounds added. Uh, if you like it a little bit tighter, maybe go a little bit smaller. Um, but like I said, uh, compared to the, the Super Ram, it, uh, it's a little bit more comfortable, um, which is not, a, for me, is not a huge selling point, but um, definitely worth uh, looking into. Uh, I wanted to see if it would live up to its name, and I'll show you a couple of videos of me training in it in just a little bit. But uh, just wanted to kind of walk you through how to use it if you don't know how. Um, basically, you slip them on over your sleeves, and you can make them as tight or as loose as you want. I typically like them a little bit looser and they just slide up on right about there. Uh, I like my elbows to be a little bit uh, underneath it. That way I have a nice support, but um, I like how they sit flat on my chest. Some of the other products that are out there uh, from other vendors um, kind of flip and flop and, and I don't like that. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. Um, the, uh, the flatness of it allows me to go through my full range of motion. And as you can tell, this uh, takes a lot of force to actually come down. This is a really, uh, I've never used a bench shirt, but it, I would say it's probably as close as you can get to one, a single ply at least, uh, because it, it took uh, at least 500 pounds for me to get it to my chest uh, worth of force. Um, that is the, the new product. Uh, here's the old one that I happen to have. I've been using this for a while. Uh, this is the Super Ram. It is uh, definitely, uh, you can tell it's, it's well made, but it's more of a cloth material instead of a spandex. Um, there is a, a definitely a rubber um, uh, mechanism in here. And uh, it does give me, I would say at least 100, 150 pounds on, on my bench. It takes at least, I would say 450, uh, 450 pounds to get this to your chest uh, with good form. But uh, back to the Magnum Ram. Um, Basically, this is used for an overload situation where you are either at the um, failure point of your raw lifting uh, of the day, and let's say you've done uh, you know, five sets of five at 455, 500, whatever the weight is, and you are tired, your body is taxed at that point, but you wanna get a couple more reps in, this is a perfect product for that. You put it on, get you a couple more reps, either uh, at a little bit heavier weight or at the same weight that you've been working with and it allows you to get a little bit more drive out of the bottom. Uh, you're gonna feel the same weight at the top. Uh, typically, I do not feel uh, this kicking in until it's about four inches off my chest uh, and then back up to about that same spot, four inches. Um, it'll give me a good 100 pounds worth of force, uh, especially with a touch and go. Uh, if it's paused, you'll get a little bit more stretch reflex at the bottom, uh, but I don't see that it gives me quite as much if it's not like a touch and go. But uh, with that said, I like this version of the product 10 times better 
then I like the older version because it's a little more comfortable. It has a di just different material. Uh, it's definitely uh, allowed me uh, to work. Uh, it, I worked up to a 675 today with it um, with ease. Uh, I didn't want to push it too hard. Uh, this is the time of my training where I'm actually doing a lot of sub-maximal effort and, and a lot of volume. Uh, so I actually haven't hit anything over 500 pounds uh, for one rep in probably about a month. Uh, so I didn't want to go crazy on it, but I'm very, very confident that on a good day uh, with this, I could definitely put up more than 700 pounds, uh, probably for multiple reps uh, with the way that it felt today. Uh, I actually went into a workout, and you'll see in a second here, um, went into a workout that was uh, after a 50 rep session on Monday at 480 pounds. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty tired. Uh, you know, I've just overloaded uh, this week with with uh, with workout, but definitely wanted to try this product in a way that would not cause my training any harm and definitely don't want to cause injury to myself. So I did hold back a little bit, um, but I worked through some sets and I'll go ahead and um, show you those here real quick. Basically uh, here, uh, I was basically just warming up. Um, this is uh, 545. As you can see, it slips on real easy. Uh, I actually have some sleeves on there as well. Uh, this one was a real easy, um, just touch and go 545, smooth. There's no sticking point at all there. Uh, this is 585, and it went up as smooth as, as the other one. Um, next one, I moved on to 635. I like to have a little spot just as an extra uh, advantage there. Um, this actually went up a lot faster than I expected it to. Uh, like I said, I haven't been hitting a lot of heavy weight lately. This is 655, and uh, I was a little surprised that, uh, not that the slingshot itself could, could handle that weight, but that I could handle that weight recently. This is my top set at 675, and I got a little bit out of the groove, but uh, finished that up. Um, that I could have gotten at least uh, 700 plus today, uh, but like I said, I wanted to play smart with it. Uh, I am very confident that uh, this will have a place in my training here uh, as we move forward into uh, some big numbers this summer. Uh, but anyway, so this is the uh, Titan Magnum Ram, and it will be uh, actually launching at the Arnold this year with Anderson Powerlifting and SPD USA. I uh, believe they will be in booth number 13. The Arnold uh, Sports Festival and Bodybuilding Show will be going on at uh, in, in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, that's March 2nd through 5th. And uh, I'm pretty sure this will be available on the website shortly thereafter at andersonpowerlifting.com. I uh, definitely want to thank uh, Anderson for uh, being a very, very gracious sponsor and taking care of me uh, and many, many athletes as we uh, go through our adventures of uh, powerlifting and strongman. And uh, hope to see you guys real soon. Uh, check out benchonly.com for uh, any of the powerlifting shirts that you see me wearing. And I'll check you guys later.